Deutsche Welle reporting there. To take a closer look at how countries around the world are approaching airline security, we're joined by Patrick Smith. He's a pilot himself. He writes a weekly air travel column on Salon.com and is the author of Ask the Pilot, Everything You Want to Know About Air Travel. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thanks for having me. So, how confident are you that the introduction of these enhanced security measures for people who are flying into the United States from these 14 specific countries of concern will um, improve our security? Well, what they're doing essentially is profiling. And profiling is a tricky thing if, if not done correctly, because as any security expert will tell you, uh, routine is weakness and once a potential perpetrator knows what you're looking for it becomes easier to skirt that system. Having said that, I think that some form of profiling is definitely a better technique than, than what we've had up to this point, at least here in the US, which is a philosophy that a philosophy that says every passenger from an infant child to a, a, an elderly 95 year old person in a wheelchair to a fully credentialed crew member is seen as a potential terrorist. You're saying really that there, there are some big holes in the system. Let's take an example, for instance. Richard Reed, uh, the shoe bomber, was from England, and he would not have been stopped under these enhanced security measures, would he? No, I mean, there are, what, 200 countries around the world? You know, what happens if the next attack or attempted attack comes from Malaysia or, or Canada? Um, but let me say that's what I hope comes from this Christmas Day event is that TSA steps back and reevaluates its approach to security and gets away from what has been to this point kind of a wasteful fixation with um, sharp objects and, and harmless liquids. You know, I've been saying in writing for eight years that the primary threat to commercial aircraft is not box cutters, it's, it's explosives. Um, you know, when you go back to 9-11, you know, what the hijackers exploited that day was not a weakness in airport security. What weapons they used really didn't matter. They could have made a deadly sharp object out of anything. What they were taking advantage of was a loophole in our mindset, our, our understanding of what hijackings were and how they unfolded. All that has changed now. And so a box cutter is really useless to a terrorist. Well, but what's not useless is an explosive device. Israel has been, um, an, it seems like an obvious target for terrorists, but we hear virtually nothing about airline attacks there. What can we learn from how Israel protects its passengers? Well, the Israelis are very good at uh, what's called behavioral profiling, um, where they take a whole series of data points and, and and apply them to, to passenger screening. Uh, you know, I hear all the time, why can't we do security like Israel does? And well, very simply, Israel is a tiny country with basically one international airport. Here in the US, we have hundreds of, of commercial airports and taking that system and spreading it over an air travel system as vast as what we have is just uh, extremely difficult to do, and, which isn't to say we can't take certain aspects of the Israeli approach and use them successfully here. All right, Patrick Smith, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.